Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Alrighty, guys, this is Brennan Havrilla, and we are back today with a uh, another tutorial. Uh, today, we're taking a look back in my DMX 3.0, this powerful software by ADJ, and um, we're going to be focusing on the Easy Remote app, which is an iPad, iPhone, and Android app. Uh, basically allows you to control your light show from my DMX over a wireless network. Um, now a key feature I'd like to point out first off is if the venue you're working in or you don't have a strong wireless connection um, and a Wi-Fi to connect to, uh, an alternate way to connect is plug a Wi-Fi router with you, um, LAN cable, Ethernet, straight into your computer. And basically that will create the network and then on your iPad connect to that network so you won't have Wi-Fi. Um, so you won't be able to search the internet and stuff on your iPad, but your iPad and computer will be able to talk to each other, which is the important part. So with that said, um, the other feature about that that makes that better and more powerful is those are the only two devices on that wireless network. So your connection is going to be a lot better and a lot stronger than if you were on the Wi-Fi with the venue where they have, you know, a hundred other guests on the same Wi-Fi. Um, so that's just a tip as far as the Wi-Fi is concerned to get your iPad and laptop to talk to each other. Now, what I'm going to do in my DMX3 here is open up one of my recent shows. Okay, so I opened up this show that I was working on the other day. Um, this is for a concert I'm doing this week. Um, it's an open mic at my school and I'm running all my lights um, off my DMX3 for this um, and I'm also going to be running the iPad with Easy Remote so I have some of the scenes programmed with Easy Remote. So with the show open here basically and your my DMX 3.0 interface plugged into the computer that's important because that's what the software upgrade is on from the website from DMXsoft. Um, you pay for that upgrade to allow you to use the iPad app and MIDI and other features so it's important that you have that dongle plugged in otherwise this iPad feature will not work. So once you get all your scenes programmed and stuff, you're going to go to the show tab. Now I already have some stuff set up here that will trigger my lights. When you start, you will just have this blank screen here. Um, so basically to get these tiles to pop up, I'll go over first things first, um, is you're going to go over here to this add and play button. Now these are just your play tiles. So you can go add play button here and this is going to be a play tile where you click it and it can play a scene. It can pause and stop a scene or it can play and stop it. So you tap it once to play it and then you tap it again to stop it. So that's really cool features. Now this gives you a lot more control over this. So you can choose a custom name and say we want it to control white strobing. That's what I want it to say on it. I can choose the width of the tile so I can make it a bigger square than the rest of them. I can make it a perfect four by four. I could change the text color to red. Um, I could change a lot of features here. Um, now, the next thing would be, this is not the scene I want it to associate with. So I'm gonna delete this scene, okay? And I'm gonna click the add button. Now this is gonna take me to all my scenes here where I could choose, say, um, I'll do this one. I'll do white. Now this is where you choose your um, play, pause, or play and stop. Play stop, I should say, and play and stop. So this is where you can choose those features. So from here, choose it. Press OK, press OK here, and now that tile is right here, which you'll see will trigger that scene. Now if I go here and I click edit, that will allow me to move this scene around, and I can configure these in whatever way I want. I can make them all butted up against each other. If I try and overlap, you'll get that red, you know, that doesn't fit there kind of thing. And um, otherwise, that is how you're going to set that up. Now let's go over to the iPad here. And um, we're going to open up the Easy Remote app from the App Store. It's totally free. Now, with that set up, if your iPad and the laptop are on the same internet connection, you'll see your interface right there. Uh, it's got the IP address that you're running it on, and it'll say MyDMX 3.0 or MyDMX 2.1 or so on. They are different interfaces, so um, when we click on this, you're going to see it open up. Now, it's going to open up right to that live tiles that we're just looking at on the software. So I'm going to jump back to that again. And you'll see this is set up the same exact way. 
Now back on the iPad, these are all going to trigger the different scenes when I tap them, depending on how you set them up to play or pause or play slash pause. There's the big white strobe we added, and this is the configuration. Now you'll notice it all fits on the screen. So back to the software real quick. This white dotted line, that's the perimeter, that is the size of the iPad screen. And basically over here, you're gonna choose the device you're running it on, and that will tell you here the size that you have to fill up. If you're running it on an iPhone, it's gonna be a lot less tiles. So that's all you gotta do to set it up and get it running. And then if you add tiles in the software now, you just gotta refresh this app, maybe close out of it. You could try just tapping those two arrows up there or just refresh the app, close out of it, delete it, and then reopen it. And your interface should be right back there where you could tap these tiles and control. Them. So with that said, back to the software, you can also add, you know, color wheels like this. We'll just leave it like that, general dimmer. For now, you could add this general dimmer and these dimming slide kind of things. Um, you could add a pan and tilt grid for your moving heads and RGB color wheels for your, say, up lights. Um, and you can control it that way. So there's a lot of neat features with this. I hope if you're having trouble getting your iPad working, this is the way to run it. You could also run this as a live show. So if you just get out of this edit mode, you could just run your show from here and totally customize where your scenes are placed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you like these videos. This way you're up to date on the newest videos. Don't forget to enjoy your gear.